Working collaboratively within a group poses some unique challenges, one of which is managing the creation and modification of objects and scenes throughout the production. Many production companies will use a feature in 3ds Max called containers in order to handle this situation. Containers are a special object inside of 3ds Max that are able to maintain a link to an external .maxc file and can be edited from within a scene. But containers are much more than just a reference. They can be set up with a range of privileges from editable by anyone to completely locked and only editable by a select few. While containers can be used for collaboration, they can also be used for streamlining the production process. Let's take a look at how you can take advantage of using containers in your scene to make production more efficient. First, we're going to create a container that contains a number of objects that we'll be able to use as a single object in another scene. In this case, it will be a rocking chair that we'll use to place on the front porch of one of our buildings. To start, we need to open the file containing the rocking chair we want to use in order to save the container to a file. From the Chapter 3 subdirectory, open the file Chapter 3 Rocking Chair 01.max. This file contains a simple rocking chair that's made up of individual components. We're going to create a container that will allow us to work with the rocking chair in this and other scenes as if it was a single object. This is not to be confused with a group, which works within a scene or can be imported but it's tied directly to objects within the scene and has no management options. To create a container, go to the Create tab and click on Helpers. From the Helpers Object Type Rollout, click on the Container button. In the top viewport, click and drag to create the helper object for the container. Drag the container to about this size. Make it just a little bit larger than the rocking chair. Now let's move it to the 0, 0, 0 position. Press W on the keyboard to activate the Select and Move tool. An easy way to zero out the position values is to right-click on the spinner for the X, Y, and Z values. Move the mouse over the spinner for the X position and right-click on the mouse. That will cause the spinner value to snap to zero. Right-click on the spinner for the Y value to zero it out. Since we created the container in the top view, the Z value will already be zero. With the container at zero, 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 change over to the Modify panel. In the Modify panel, rename the container by clicking in the Name field and typing con underscore rocker and pressing Enter. Now we need to add the parts for the rocker into the container. In the local content rollout, click the Add button. From the Add Container Node dialog, click on the first item in the list. In this case, it's the armrest underscore left object. Scroll to the bottom, press and hold the Shift key, then select the last item in the list the support underscore seat underscore front object. This will select and highlight all the objects in the list. Click the Add button to add the rocker parts to the container. Now let's set a rule that will allow anyone who inherits the container to make edits. The rule we will set is the Anything Unlocked rule. To set the rule, click on the Anything Unlocked option. This rule applies to the lock options that are located below the Anything Unlocked option. Or, you can lock only specific tracks by clicking on the Edit button. Once we've added geometry into the container and set the rules, we need to write the container to a file. From the Manage Container rollout, click the Close button. This will open the Container Definition File dialog and allow you to save the container to a file. Navigate to the Chapter 3 subdirectory. Save the file 
as the default name by clicking the Save button. In this case, it should be Chapter 3, Rocking Chair 01, Con Rocker. This file will be saved as a special container file. If you're asked to override an existing file, go ahead and override it. When the dialog box closes, the container will also be closed. If you try to click on the chair, you'll not be able to select anything except the container. The rocking chair is now a container object. From the application menu, click the Save As option. Click the Increment on Save button to increment the file name. 